Hi there, this is Terry, and welcome to Cat Scratch Kitchen. Today we're going to make another delicious dinner. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd go down and take a second to subscribe. That way you won't miss a thing coming up. Today we're going to make a quick, easy, and economical dinner that you probably already have the ingredients for. This is another one of those impossible pies that everybody seems to enjoy and are so easy to put together. So let's not waste any time. Let's get started. Start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees and greasing a 9-inch pie plate. First, you're going to need two cups of chopped cooked chicken. Now, I had two chicken breasts that I put in my Instant Pot and cooked and chopped up, but you can also use leftover chicken, you can use a rotisserie chicken that you buy, or you could even use canned chicken. Next, you're going to need a third of a cup of chopped bacon that you've cooked until crispy. Then we need one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and only half of a cup is going to go in with our chicken. The rest of it we're going to save to sprinkle on top and melt when the pie is done. And lastly for the filling, we need one half cup of ranch dressing. This can be homemade ranch or it can be bottled ranch. Now just mix all your filling ingredients together well. Pour the filling into the pie plate and spread it around until it's fairly even. Now we're ready to put together the ingredients for the topping of our pie. Start with one third cup of Bisquick or Biscuit Mix. I'm using the Biscuit Mix that we made up a few weeks ago. I'll put a link for it here in the video as well as down in the description. One cup of whole milk, and finally, two eggs. Then just whisk it together and you're ready to pour it over your filling. Put it in a 400 degree oven for 25 minutes. You'll know when it's done when it's golden brown and a knife inserted comes out clean. Now that's a beautiful thing. But we're not quite done. You know that a cup of cheese that we kept aside? Let's sprinkle that on top, stick it back in the oven for about five minutes, and melt it until it's bubbly on top. Now you're ready to eat. You can serve this with a nice salad or some fresh vegetables on the side, and you've got a complete meal. This is so good and easy. I hope you give it a try. And down in the comments, leave me a message if you give it a try and let me know how you liked it. Of course, as always, the recipe is down in the description as well as a link so that you can print it out. I enjoyed sharing this with you today and I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next delicious meal we make. I'll see you next week.